Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Mawahib. So in today's video, I really want to make diffusers with you guys. I have made a video like that previously. It's been over a year since I've done a diffuser video. So why not? I thought I'd come back with a brand new fresh video to show you how to make a diffuser at home. Before I used to make candles or diffusers or room sprays, I used to think, how do these people make candles? Like what is the secret ingredient in making a candle or a diffuser? I thought, I thought so much goes into it. But honestly, the fact that you can do these stuff at home blows my mind. I wouldn't, I don't need to ever have to buy a candle ever again unless if I want to support a small business or any of my favorite brands but the fact that I can actually make my own candle and my own fragrance at home just just amazes me honestly I wish I would have figured this out sooner I remember a few weeks back Craftivate did send some products for me to test out for you guys and some of these products is um, some ingredients to make a diffuser with you so honestly I have all these ingredients here they're literally one or two ingredients you're probably gonna have the rest at home super easy to make and also if you haven't done a diffuser before or you're new to diffusers this is literally the perfect video for you but anyway I know I know I tend to ramble too much let me move you over so you can see how to make a diffuser okay so I'm right here by the way I know it's a bit awkward again you can't really see my face just my hands but basically that's everything that you'll need to make a diffuser at home you'll obviously need your base which is the base that I'm using today is from Craftivator it's the Yogeo clean multi base um, I, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, I basically have a mini version of it, so I'm going to be using this. This is so cute, you guys. Look at this. And you will also need your fragrance. So I'm using the lime, basil, and mandarin fragrance oil from Craftivator as well. You'll also need a diffuser bottle, and I have the matte black here also from Craftivator. And you will also need a cap that adds a character to your uh, diffuser bottle. So as you guys can see here, the silver against the black just looks so beautiful, chic, classic. I love it and you also need a um someone helped me in the comments with with that before it's a stopper you know to stop the liquid from leaking out you, i don't need that today but if you do want to sell your diffusers in the future you will obviously need that so that does it so the liquid does not pour out the diffuser bottle and you will also need your diffuser reeds which i have right here these are the white fiber reeds also from craftivator you will need a jug and you also need a weighing scale. So to start off, I'm just gonna place my jug onto the scale and I'm going to just bring the scale here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna tear my scale as usual. I'm also following the step-by-step -step guide uh, that Craftivator provides online. I will link that at the, in the description down below so you guys can also follow it. If you guys are ever lost or you're just not sure or you think you missed a step, the Craftivator how to blog is there to help you guys out. So um, the first step to do is I'm gonna pop the jug onto my scale. So I'm going to measure 80 grams of my base. So I'm just gonna open that. I'm gonna measure 80 grams. Okay, so I'm at 81, which is okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and go for 20 grams of my lime, basil, and mandarin fragrance oil. I'm gonna tear my scale again. Okay, you guys, so I'm at 20 grams of my fragrance. Place my scale to the side. Oh my God, you guys, it smells so, so good. It's unbelievable. So I'm literally gonna grab one fiber reed and I'm gonna just give it a good little mix inside the jug. So I'm gonna take my diffuser bottle and I'm gonna pour my liquid straight into there. Um, you can use a funnel. Honestly, I did have a funnel, but I've just completely lost it. I have no idea where it went. So I'm just gonna work with what I have and just pour this straight into my, um, my diffuser bottle. I'll show you what I'm doing actually. So I'm literally pouring this straight in there. And there we go, that reached to the top. When I tell you that smells so good, I'm not even exaggerating. I want to see how many reads I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to use six reads, you guys. I don't think I need any more. So what I do is I basically just give that a little bit of a twirl, literally, like so. And then what I do is I take the reads 
and I literally flip it over it's gonna be a bit messy and just like spread it like so and I forgot to put my um, my lid on see this is this things happen to me all the time okay let me put my lid on you guys sorry about this put the lid first and then the reeds but basically that is it you guys look how beautiful that looks I'm gonna place this in my bedroom it's gonna smell so fresh so nice and then let's move over to the sofa so we can talk about this a bit more okay you guys I am back on the sofa I hope that was super straightforward for you guys to follow literally all you needed is your base your fragrance and your diffuser bottle and your reeds for you to complete a diffuser to make at home I mean look how exciting that looks I mean that just makes me so happy and it smells so so fresh so if you guys do want to make diffuser at home the how to blog on craftivator do advise that you put a mat on your um, counter or on the table and also wear gloves just so you don't get any irritation from the products that you are using i did not use that for this video but um if you do have sensitive skin and um just in general actually just protect your hands from any irritation that may um occur um just use some gloves and also just lay your mat or like a table cloth or anything just to protect your furniture from any staining or anything like that the maximum fragrance that you can use in your diffuser is 25% but if you're gonna use 25% of fragrance oil you obviously need to use 75% of base so you can make up the hundred so this is a hundred mil diffuser bottle am I making sense I used 80 grams of diffuser base and 20 grams of fragrance which makes the hundred milliliters of the diffuser bottle or hundred grams and with a diffuser as well well it does take time to smell the fragrance it's not like a candle where you'll smell it in an hour or two a diffuser will take 48 hours to 72 hours to fill up the room or the area that you've placed your diffuser in also uh, craftivator do sell various types of reeds they don't only sell the fiber reeds so if you want to test out other reeds then go ahead to be honest i love the rattan reeds or the rating reeds i hope i'm saying that correctly over the fiber reeds i just feel like the rattan reeds give out uh, i get more of a good throw from the fragrance rather than the fibreries that's just my personal experience so over there um over the past year ever since i've been doing candles and diffusers i've found myself going back to the rattan reeds over the fiber reeds so that's just my preference but obviously in today's video we use the fiber reeds but if you are looking to test different types of reeds then they, they are available on the craftivators website oh you guys my hair is actually so crazy today I did not realize it was going to be this frizzy honestly so that is everything that you need to know about a diffuser if you guys are confused or you, if you have any more questions please do pop them down below i'm more than happy to help you out and answer your questions and if you do try to make a diffuser at home then please make sure that you use my discount code m10 for 10 percent off of anything that you buy from craftivator it does not have to be a diffuser do tag me on instagram you guys when you do shop with them using my code so i can see what you've picked up at my I think it was a straightforward video for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I am going to close out today's video right here and say please make sure that you click on that subscribe button down below and give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future and of course don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time I post a new video. Don't forget to use my code M10 for 10% off, off of anything that you'd like to pick up from Craftivator. With that said I hope you guys enjoyed the sunshine and in London and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!